What is going on, my fine people? Fine line seventeen twenty one checking back in here to give you guys another dope video. Today we're going to be taking a look at an upcoming Air Jordan slated for release September twenty eighth. We do have that standard OG retro one box. This one right here is kind of like flying under the radar a little bit because not a lot of people have this shoe. It is basically like a Foot Locker Corporation type of release where you might only see this shoe at Foot Locker, Foot Action, Champs. If it goes to Champs, it might just be a House of Hoop or a Flight 23 type of exclusive or a Tier Zero only. So without further ado, man, let's flip this box open and flip the paper back and get into the shoe. Now that we have these out of the box, you can see that we have the Air Jordan Retro 1 OG High First Class Flight. Um, they do come with a standard pair of laces. The little lace bag, little holder is still on the shoe. They do come with a uh, yellow pair of laces here, as you can see. Taking a look at the shoe tree. The shoe tree comes as such. Like this with the two little dents on the side. You got the all white inside with uh, yellow insole, black Nike Air. I'm taking a quick little 180 look at the shoe. It's a nice shoe in my opinion. A lot of details. Taking a look at the front profile of the shoe. All white tongue. Which leads us up to a yellow patch with the black Nike Air. Also another thing of note. The threading around the tongue is trimmed in red. Now, taking a look at the lateral side of the shoe, you can see that we have basically an all-white upper with hits of yellow and black. The whole upper here is perforated leather. The only pieces of smooth leather that's on the shoe comes from the Nike sign, as you can see here. The top of this Nike check is actually yellow. They might just dye it yellow just to make it you know, kind of have a better contrast with the rest of the shoe. If you take a look underneath the wing logo, we do have Michael Jordan's signature right here on like a little patch. It does kind of look like it's one of those like flappy little pieces, but it's not. It's actually just kind of like glued down on the shoe here. They have the barcode right here on the heel with his career totals and points, points per game, rebounds rebounds per game and right here on the side is his assist total and assist per game and as you can see from the inside of the shoe the nike check differs from the outside this one is all yellow the outside is all white um taking a look here around the ankle collar we do have another barcode it says uh first class flight on the top mj mj4 aj 10 23 also, another thing of note on this shoe, taking a look at the ankle collar here, it is still perforated like the rest of the shoe, but it doesn't feel like it's leather. Like it almost kind of has this rubbery feel to it. You know, it might be leather, but it just feels real rubbery around the top of the shoe. The softness of the shoe is, is there, but it's not like that soft, uh, kind of like plush leather that we've grown accustomed to with Air Jordan Retro 1 highs. The texture of the leather is really, really reminiscent to the toe box and the mid panels of the Turbo Green and that Crimson Air Jordan Retro 1. As you can see it in hand, is a clean all-white upper with hits of detailing in black and yellow. Um, for me personally, I do wish that they added just a little bit more black to the shoe. For me, it's just like the all white. It just makes it just looks a little bit too plain. With, with the splashes of detailing, they should have just made some other parts of this shoe black. I will be able to have access to more pairs, but I don't think it'll be worth the hassle of actually getting them. But this particular pair here, the size 11, will be on fineline1721.com so if you wear a size 11 and you want to pick these joints up and you want to secure your pair you can head over to the website fineline1721.com they are shipping out right now uh please be sure to follow me on instagram follow me on twitter both handles are the same fineline1721 and into the next video you guys already know what to do be smooth enjoy life bless up